Hey, what's up AMC apes? I'm Chico and thank you for watching this video. I want to make a short one here since I just finished my quarter two discussion video and now that the verdict is out, as you see, AMC is down 24% and Ape went up 24, 25% after market. Um, I want to start by showing you or reminding you of a couple of videos by Ken Griffin. Progress forward. There's an understanding that many dynamics of how humans behave can be, in a sense, taken advantage of by technology. If we know how humans behave and we can predict that, we can use that to better position our portfolios. And a number of quantitative strategies rely upon human biases and behavior to be successful. So as we understand this, look at the recent Nobel Prize in behavioral economics. As we understand this, we will use computers in new and innovative ways to better drive the pricing of assets in financial markets. Now I want to talk to you. Okay, so what that translates to me is that they use their computers and algorithms to control the price. And they use the same computers and scientists to influence how you feel and how you react to things. So they don't care about retail or the people. They only care about taking money. There's this one. And each thing we did bought us one more day. And day by day, we bought ourselves a future. This is the people that we're going up against. As you can see, they're not about to quit. They're not going to fold. Um, we have to keep this in mind. Often the choice was between painful and more painful. But the one thing we didn't do was put things off. By the end of 2008, we had lost half our capital. But we were still in business. And we kept our team. And our team kept fighting to buy us another day. I like how he says painful and painful. I don't think they really know what painful means. Um, they do get bailed out. He doesn't mention that. Um, but they're in there and they're going to stay there till the last day. They're going to keep on going. And we know this. This is one of our favorites. Let me be anybody in your organization. Let me be perfectly clear. Absolutely not. He's also a liar, right? Now, something that we should be worried about, of course, United States Secretary of Treasury, Janet Yellen, has earned more from Citadel, it's Ken Griffin's firm, than the government salary that she gets over the last two years. I believe she's supposed to be getting paid 200,000 and she collected over 800,000 from seven minute speech for Citadel. Um, no matter how you feel about the apes or the movement or the movies, this is something that should concern everybody, especially since he is rumored to be the next Treasury Secretary. Things like this should never happen. Um, short thesis. I really like this meme, August 11, 2023. The short thesis is officially dead. I know some people don't agree, a lot of the no voters, but uh, got to consider, I mean, You've been in this play long enough, you know AMC gets hit every single day from all over the place. If you want some more quick samples, since I just did some on my other video, but this is more stuff. You know, AMC CEO gets fired after sabotaging the Sound of Freedom movie, suppressed at AMC. Don't see the video being removed. Um, it's been out for two weeks. 20,000 more views, proof that AMC is trying to sabotage Sound of Freedom. You must watch this. Ooh. We've seen this page before. This is Jeremy. He has like 500 or 5 million viewers and whatnot. So he's big. And, you know, he's also talking about suspicious behavior in theaters. AMC CEO speaks out. Just part of it. I mean, what worries me even more is the ones that have really large followings and they're pretty much daily bashing on movies that are coming out. So it's always something to worry about. Something else. This article may make you laugh, but it's real. Professor Lawrence Young, a virologist at Warwick University, said that the rise in cases could be down to the recent poor weather and the rise in people going to the cinema, presumably to see Barbie and Oppenheimer. Cannot believe these things are still being printed out, but you can bet that CNN and other networks are gonna pick this up. Um, funny how they had to go out of their way to mention this, not 
anything else like casinos or pretty much anything else really. Uh, cinemas and Barbie is going to be what's going to re-trigger. It is a serious thing to worry about though. You know, if you go out, you still see a lot of people wearing masks and being worried. So, um, you know, there's no telling when the next one is going to come. I do think that it's going to come. So it's another thing to worry about. Then you got things like this, and I don't want to get political or ethical in this in any way because I like Charlize Theron, but I didn't know this was going on. This is supposedly her son, dressed as a girl. Um, has a lot of views. This lady posts a lot of interesting stuff, but um, if you read the responses, everybody's pretty upset that, you know, it seems like child abuse in some way. And um, the reason I'm going to show you why it's important to us, I mean, then she goes on in backlash. Actress Charlize Theron threatens to F up. Conservatives worried about drag queens sexualizing children. This has been going on. I've seen some horrible stuff. It's serious. Um, on top of that, though, what, the way it affects us is that actors and directors and Hollywood people are getting into a lot of trouble and getting into um, altercations with fans. And that affects us. You know, I could see where a lot of people would not want to see her movies um, as this type of thing spreads out. So um, I know that the issue is actually more important, but I'm just referring to how it affects us as an industry. Um, so there's just a few more things. It's something that we have to keep in mind that I know nobody likes to get diluted, but this is something that needed to happen. And I'm really happy that it did and it's finally settled. Now it's just a matter of seeing how it's going to develop, right? So uh, my plan, I'm on vacation this weekend, so I'm going to try to stay away from it. But, you know, there's no way I'm not going to try to keep an eye on what's going on or what's being said or, or what could be developing. So uh, we'll see what happens by Monday open. You know that the haters and the shills, the bots, the no voters, they're out in force. I have already seen them on Twitter and other places on YouTube. Some of those YouTubers that said they made their last video of AMC or the last video on YouTube, they're back and ready to bash. So I'm not even going to click on them because I don't care what they have to say. Um, you know, there's no doubt. There's no doubt the shorts are going to be at work this weekend. So again, be patient. This is not financial advice in any way, but uh, I'm not going to be in a rush. I'm going to be patient, be, um, take my own preaching here and no jumping into any weeklies. Um, you know, they're going to control the price until they can't do it anymore. So, uh, again, try to stay out of all the drama. And um, depending on what happens, I may buy more AMC if the price goes down enough. I do know and understand that, um, you know, Ape is the hot thing. It's the logical play right now. But then again, if you watch this whole video and just the clip that I played, you know that the movement on Ape and AMC aftermarket is their computers. It's not buying and selling. So I believe that they're trying to make you feel one way or the other, which is why I choose to be careful. Um, again, let's be patient. Let's see what happens on Monday morning. Everything will change. Who knows what's going to be said and done over the week. Uh, quick reminder of what CEO Adam Aaron said. Stay with me. Dad. On your tombstone, it should read always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Elba, you be quiet, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching and.